This is Barnstable Today for Tuesday, April 7th. Welcome aboard. I'm Mark Mumford. And we would like to remind you that the meetings we cover are available on demand at the town's website, town.barnstable.ma.us. A structure in Kituit that the owners want to tear down gets the attention of the Barnstable Historical Commission. That's our focus today. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kevin Friel. Attorney Mike Ford appeared before the Barnstable Historical Commission in the old Sletman's Conference Room yesterday afternoon, representing the property owners at 35 Little River Road in Kituit. It's a request for demolition of the entire structure. Um, I was last before the Commission with respect to this property uh, on March 17th and at that time um, after uh, hearing um, our presentation the committee voted unanimously uh, that this was in their judgment a significant building under your bylaw and voted to hold a public hearing and uh, I understand the purpose in the public hearing is for you to now determine whether or not the removal of this building will be detrimental to historical, cultural, or architectural heritage or resources of the town, such that it should be classified a preferably preserved significant building, which in turn would then trigger the demolition delay. Um, if I have the process correct, I would uh, suggest to you that um, Notwithstanding the fact that you found it significant last time, I'd ask you uh, for the purposes of this determination, which I consider to be a distinct finding from the first one, uh, that again, uh, this was a structure that um, is not listed on any um, national or state register. It has been build, built in fits and starts over time. Um, the first uh, uh, portion uh, constructed um, sometime, according to uh, the town's inventory, um, about uh, uh, 18, say 32, um, and uh, additions occurred uh, to this site. And I think we gave it to you last time. And can I assume, Madam Chair, that you still have those yes. those handouts? What we try to do is compile, at least to the best of the owner's knowledge. Um, the various stages of construction, and I have a couple more of those if you don't have them, um, which were 1832, 1890, 1920, and these are different elevations, 1952 and 1968, and at least it appears to uh, my clients anyway. Attorney Ford went on to question the historical significance of the structure. It had a relationship to the shipbuilding business. Um, I'm not at all sure how the preservation of this structure at this point would continue to serve that nexus uh, of its relationship to a shipbuilding business, um, nor did I frankly understand the, the connection as to why that made it historic at the time, but that's what the committee found. Um, and they found that because they uh, found that, um, according to the inventory, um, the builder was employed. Um, at the shipbuilding business, which one of the committee members indicated they had personal knowledge was operated where the Katuit Oyster Company is operated. I don't know whether that's the case or not. I have hit history of the Katuit Oyster Company going back for a considerable period of time and didn't find anything with respect to a shipbuilding business on that site. Um, I can't tell you that we've done any engineering of the building. Um, it is in difficult condition, according to my clients, but I'm not suggesting today that uh, there is an engineering reason that it needs to be taken down at this point. I don't, don't want to suggest that because we haven't done that. So uh, I'm not here to suggest that uh, it can't be saved at this point if that was an issue. Um, if it becomes an issue in the future, my clients would have uh, such a study done if they thought it was uh, important. Um, the uh, two major additions um, were done in 52 and 68, and I've marked those on, on the plans. Again, the Historical Commission had plenty of additional questions for Attorney Ford, with the first one coming from Chair Barbara Flynn. 
uh, is it their intent to demolish everything, or do they want to keep the part, the uh, oldest part that's over the bean pot cellar? Uh, their intention is to demolish the entire uh, structure and save the cellar. Save the cellar and right. demolish the top. Um, I did appear before the uh, Conservation Commission on a new house um, uh, last week, and they approved it unanimously. Um, uh, with a finding that it will uh, be an improvement in terms of the wetland resources given some of the things we're going to do on the site than the existing uh, house. So their goal is still to move forward with their plans. Does anyone else have some questions? Can I ask the same question um, at our last meeting, Madam Chair? Uh, there is an additional building back here, right. um, and you plan, or the owners plan to keep that building as is? They do. Do. There are no changes proposed to that back. Uh, it's kind of a garage. Here it is here, um, Mr. Cobiel. Uh, it, it used to be have a garage section, a little guest room section, a little porch section. Uh, no changes are proposed to that. Thank you. At this point. I will note that that back uh, out guest house uh, is notable because uh, John Marquin, notable author um, of uh, the late George Apley, one of his, his uh, uh, novels. He was a novelist. Uh, a, uh, late he was born in the late 19th century and died in the 60s, I believe. Um, he uh, he did write there, and it's it, there's well. That's never been actually there. absolutely established. Oh, has and it? We're not actually talking about that outbuilding right now. Yeah. I do want to talk about the main house. Okay, um, sure. The fact that you talk that it's. Uh, built in fits and starts. Mm -hmm. That's evolution of, of homes, especially on Cape Cod, as homes grew, as families grew. They were built according to the style of the day. Um, what, what I think makes special about this house is that core property, what you've highlighted in yellow here mm -hmm. um, and in blue, uh, but most especially the, the half cape, which you do not see represented, uh, especially in the village of Katuit. Um, around town. There is one other structure like that directly across the street from that. Um, it would, uh, and, and to uh, your comment about the fact that uh, it was built uh, by someone who worked at the Handy Shipyard, it was actually built for one of the, for the son of, of uh, Joseph Handy, who had the largest shipbuilding uh, um, yard in that area. Where was that located? And that you know? was right on the point, called Handy's Point. Not where Katuit Oyster Company is, but right, right near that area. And that area is now is is always been known as Handy's Point. Um, so I think that makes it fairly uh, um, historic for that area. Um, so it would be. Um, I, I would I would like to see the owners uh, not only retain the bean pot cellar, but the structure that sits on top of that. And uh, if at all possible to, I, I don't think I have so much of a problem taking, taking parts of this dwelling off and adding on to those parts. I wish I could see what the, the new owners would like to do to the property, although we have no jurisdiction on, on what they should do. The Commission dealt with the structures at 35 Little River Road with two motions. In the first, they approved taking down the newest additions built in 1920, 1952, and 1968. In the second motion, the Commission decided to place a designation of preferably preserved for the earlier portions built back in the 1800s. And please keep in mind that the Historical Commission meetings are available on demand at the town's website, town.barnstable.ma.us. Meanwhile, on the town calendar tonight, it's the Conservation Commission meeting in the Selectman's Conference Room at 6.30. Then at 7, it's the School Committee in the Hearing Room. Also at 7, the Charter Commission will be meeting in the Growth Management Conference Room. Thanks for joining us today. I'm Kevin Friel. We'll meet you right back here tomorrow. I'm Mark Mumford.